Okay, in this Ohanashi AI Gen video, I'm gonna show you how to create your book cover. Now, using your book cover, this is one of the best uh, parts of Ohanashi AI Gen. You wanna create a, a professional looking book cover and now both Ohanashi AI Gen and Nudi Creator are, uh, they have uh, Nano Banana in the background working for you, okay? So, you know, not to get off topic, but I want to talk about six by nine real quick. Six by nine is kind of the master key trim size because you can upload on Kindle Digital, so you can have, for example, free access to your dig to your digital book, and that's a, a really cool way to promote your physical copy. You know, that's uh, that's what many, not many, but a lot of authors do. Okay. Okay, so let's go six by nine. Let's say, for example, six by nine. If you want to uh, keep a, like a traditional children's book uh, trim size, you want to go 8.5 by 8.5. Okay, that's a nice square one. This is a nice vertical one. Six by nine. Let's let's say our page count is 60. It's kind of a very small book, but why not? Cover title. Um, I don't know. The killer gnome. Make it like a Halloween story. Cover author, Bill Struss, why not? Author color, text, black, tie, why not? Well, keep it creepy. Let's put in, and this is really important, okay? And now if you have the elite version, the elite version of uh, Nudie, no, excuse me, of uh, Ohanashi AI Gen, then this is the AI book studio. So you, we're gonna have AI create, like I said, Nano Banana create our book cover, including the title and everything. So if we want to give it a short little prompt, menacing uh, killer gnome, um, copy front cover to back cover. No, I never, I never select this. Generate front cover. Yes. So we're going to, let's make sure everything's uh, nice. Six by nine. Yes. 60. Yes. The title is the killer gnome. Yes. Bill Strauss. Yes. Menacing Killer Gnome, perfect little description. And click Generate Front Cover. Let's see what Ohanashi AI Gen, or I should say by extension, Nano Banana gives us. Okay, let's see what the AI gave us. We have three options here. Killer Gnome. This is cool, but it's kind of hard to see. Okay, there's a misspelling here. Now remember, if there's something you don't like, you can always regenerate, right? You get a, a unlimited regens. Okay, so this one's cool. Just the gnome part's a little hard to read. I'm gonna click generate front cover again. Remember, anything you don't like, just like in uh, you know AI outside of this tool, if you don't like something, regenerate. Okay, the middle one is not bad. It's just uh, too minimalist for me. I like to keep it simple. Don't misunderstand. But uh, just I, I want I want an actual gnome. I want to see a gnome there, a menacing looking gnome. So let's uh, wait in. Let's wait and have this generate another set of book covers for us. Okay, so we have another round here. Uh, this one's cool, except for it's missing the I in my author name. This one's okay. Uh, it just it's missing an L. And this one's perfect. I really like this one. You got the gnome as the L here as killer. I love this. Uh, again, if you don't like what you see, just click regenerate, and it's gonna. Do it again. So I'm going to go with option one. Okay. And uh, now that I have option one, you know, it's going to put it into six by nine. Okay. And I'm going to use, I want something in the background here. I'm mean, sorry, in the back cover. I'm going to put creepster. That's a good creepy type. I'm going to choose black and I'm going to click add text, bring it up towards the top. You, you can use this purple line here to uh, make sure it's center just when you thought it was safe to go into your garden. Dun, dun, dun. Let's uh, grab one of these ends here and bring it. Let's actually, let's expand down here. Oh, sorry. Let's, uh, let's move this in make sure it's center again perfect actually let's move it to the side here like that like that so we got our we got our we got our book cover 
really cool. I want to download it in all these different types, PNG, PDF, and front cover. We're going to use a front cover for our um, mock-up. So I'm going to download this. I'm going to download this. And I'm going to download this one here. Okay. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a book mock-up. Okay, see you there.